Hey guys, how are you today? So today we're going to be talking about the PATH forum. So, I got to meet a lot of people, and um, first, before I start anything, I was a clerk for the judges, which means I kind of handed out ribbons and um, listened to them judge the flowers. So that was really nice. I'm really interested in judging, so that's great for me. Um, there was like 9 to 12 AOS judges there because there were so many Papiopedliums. I was in the complex hybrids only. Uh, so that was really nice. We uh, also got to meet Dr. Olaf Gruz, and he specializes in Phalaenopsis, Papiopedium, and Phragmopedium. Um, and he is out of Germany. He's a really nice guy. He's tall. Um, he's also wrote a book that's in German. I know it's not very available for the U.S. because it's in German, but there is a lot of pictures in it. He brought a couple, but he wanted a lot of money for them. So I didn't get the chance to pick up one. Um, Hadley Cash um, from Marriott's Orchids. That was great. Um, I also met, um, I think his name was Gordon from... Woodstream Orchids, I believe in Maryland. That's not on the paper, but he was kind of running the whole thing. And Dave Soroski, or some, I know I'm not saying this right, but um, he owns Path Paradise uh, out of California. So I got to meet them, and they're all very nice people. They talked about the hybridizing and what they look for in the future. Um, secondly, I wanted to sh like share with you like my judging notes. So when I was listening to the judges, I also asked questions. Um, I've noticed that all like orchids are judged the same with their flowers, about the same, and um, I'm sure some of them have some differences and stuff like that. But you want to look for the nice roundness of the flower. You want it to, to, if I were to draw a circle or oval, you want it inside the flower. Excuse me. Um, you want the staking needs to be hidden. You want, most people, it was about half and half. Some people had wooden stakes and some people had um, wire stakes. I personally like the wire stakes because you can hide it a lot better. You can hide it right up um, of the flower and inflorescent and um, I like it and then you put it you bend it to where there's like a hook and you hook it around right above the flower of the papiopedium and that helps it stay up the second following that would be um, you would have to like make sure that the flower is facing the judge because the judge is always looking down at these plants most of the times and you want them, the flowers, to face up looking at the judge. They really like that appeal. Um, you want the flatness of the flower, even if that's a, like a word, flatness. I made it up. Um, you want a nice flat-based flower, so where it's open and you can see everything. They don't want it cupped where it's kind of hiding. They like it nice and open. The color and design, some of the same orchids, as you know, the seedlings, even if they have the same parentage, they have different colors and different designs, and they kind of look through and see what the best designs and colors of them are. They don't like to see any deformities, even though we had a very funny part in our show where it was the ugly ducklings, and I'm telling you what, those were very ugly lot of deformities in there. There was three of them and the one was just hilarious. I knew it was getting, um, I'm gonna get first place. And lastly, on my judging notes, is equally distributed plants. So you don't want a clump of flowers here and a clump of flowers here. You want to evenly space. Um, you want them all facing the same way and things like that. So it was really nice. Um, I did learn some new things for the judging. And, um, I took notes. They had a orchid panel where people were asking questions and they were telling us stuff. And this one lady, she plants all of her 
four kids because the way she grows indoors, she has it in a base of perlite and styrofoam peanuts and some other things in there. She said, really, there's no bark. I don't, she doesn't use bark. And um, in the winter, when it gets really dry, she puts a top layer of sphagnum moss and keeps that top layer pretty, like, constantly, not wet, but moist. Um, and it helps keep the humidity up around the plants. And then as soon as springtime comes and the humidity starts to come up again, she takes the sphagnum off. Um, heat and phosphorus can create leaf burn. That's the number one cause for leaf burn with fertilizer. It's when you have a high count of phosphorus and then the heat of the day and the sunlight, well, that's how it burns. Um, one of the guys said, I believe it was Hadley Cash from Marriott's Orchids that said that. Um, Papiopediums love calcium. So I'm going to see like things that have a high calcium, not too high, but higher calcium rates and start using that. Um, I heard that lemon juice brings down pH in your water. If you have a really high pH where it's dangerous, you can add some lemon juice to it and it brings down the pH. Uh, neutral coat instead of awesome coat for the papiopediums. Um, they say that's really good for it. And lastly, when you are constantly like watering and fertilizing, they said the more that you repot the plant is better when you're constantly fertilizing and constantly, instead of keeping it in that medium that is getting old and has too much fertilizer in it, especially if you don't drain your plants very well after fertilizing. but that's all I have for the notes. So, let's get to our show. So, I will tell you first of all, my favorite one was the Papiopetlum Mycocoplovich, and it was beautiful. It had long petals, and it was a huge plant. You will definitely see which one I'm talking about. It won Best in Show, and People's Choice Award, it won everything because it was so big and it had four spikes on it. It's, I don't know how many flowers. It was a gorgeous display. Um, and my second favorite is the complex uh, Papiopediums. I really do like those. Uh, the more I saw them, the more I liked them. And then the third is like all the other paths because they're all unique in their own way, but that's that. My second, my real second favorite of the complex hybrids will be what I got um, from the show. So I will show you that after these videos. Now I'm sorry, there is black screen on both sides of it for all except one video because dumb me forgot to turn my phone sideways and I forgot, and then when I got in the car, I remembered. So I hope you all don't mind, and I'm really sorry again that I did that, and I feel really stupid. Um, but uh, hopefully you enjoy this. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> Hard, hard, hard time Excuse growing plants out. Pardon me. Excuse me. That's after a lot of years of doing what you. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, guys, so I hope you all enjoyed that. I do know I had to rush through some of it because there was people standing behind me looking at orchids, and I was trying to film. So you can hear me in the background say, excuse me, I'm sorry, pardon me, um, But while I was filming. So hopefully next time we have an out adventure, I won't be as rushed, and I, I can take it through slower. And I'll, hopefully I'll have more video next time. Um, but that's all I have for you for this video because this video is so long already that I'm going to show you what I got there in the next video. So I will see you all later and I hope you guys have a great day. Alright guys, bye.